a gorgeous morning here in Jacksonville. The sun is just going out. We got up freaking early today. We're gonna be out here doing something that I've been wanting to do since we got here. There are some marshes and some tidal creeks and stuff that we're gonna put the kayak and go way back into the Ty's hide right now. So we should be able to go like super, super deep. We're at a spot right now, shout out to Fisherholic. He told me to come out over here and uh, Rich was like, yeah, caught some good fish over here. So we'll see what we can freaking do, man. Just drop the kayak over here. Got some stuff with us today. I just, I just wanna get out on the water. Super like low winds and the tide should be good. Everything looks to be good today. So yeah, man, let's get out there. See what the heck we can freaking do. Ooh. All right, just dropped in here. Oh, we gotta drop the, hello. All right, drop the rudder. We are good to freaking go. Again, thank y'all for joining me on yet another adventure out here in Florida in the winter. We got a nice little bridge over there. I'm sure there's some good sheep's head. Sure brought the fiddlers. Whew, it feels so nice to be out here, man. As I said, I've been wanting to do this. It's just the, uh, First of all, this is kind of far away from where I'm staying. Not like far, but it's a little bit more out of the way, but it's been super windy and uh, the tides have not been matching up. I've been waiting for a higher tide so I can get real deep back into these creeks. So there it is, man. The Florida water. Freaking giant sharks should be at us, under us at any moment. Also alligators too. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. The other day I was at a beach and people were telling me that the other day on the actual sand, they saw like an alligator and stuff. I don't think crocodiles are all the way up here in northern Delaware, but or the Delaware, freaking northern Florida. Yeah, it's morning time. So what we're kind of going to be throwing around here is going to be switching up a little bit today too. Uh, we've been throwing a lot of bait. I've just really been having fun catching stuff, and we've been throwing shrimp, uh, crabs. Why are we going to the right? Hello. But today we're going to be testing ourselves, going all artificial, and. Uh, pretty much what we're gonna be starting with. First of all, we're using our good old trusty Luz inshore speed stick. Media heavy, moderate fast, 7.2, 30 pound braid to, I think this is 30 pound liter. And then we have a 3 16 ounce little uh, jig dude right there. On that, we're gonna be putting some gulp shrimps. Uh, yeah, we have a bunch of different bait actually. I'm just gonna rig this up super quick before we get over here. And then there is so like this is apparently one, ooh, what's up seagull? This is one big river and then there's another big river over there and there's something that kind of leads to it like a little creek and there's a ton of cuts in that creek. I'll be honest what I'm saying. Um, I don't really know what I'm freaking doing. I don't do this type of fishing like ever, but I do think that it's really freaking cool. And there's a potential to catch a bunch of different stuff. Redfish, speckled trout are two of the main ones on the menu. I still have yet to catch a speckled trout on this trip. But yeah, redfish. I mean, this is kind of similar to the fishing I was doing in Louisiana, if you guys saw those videos, and Southern Texas. I've been waiting to get back out, do some more artificial, and maybe we'll see some redfish chasing bait, maybe some tailing when the uh, tide goes a little lower. I don't know, I'm a freaking newbie, dude. But yeah, as always, if you guys have any recommendations, oh, that is freaking bright, man, put these shades on, um, for how I can improve my fishing abilities, always feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Wow, this is so freaking beautiful. I'm just gonna take some casts real quick. Oh, did I just get bit? Are you kidding me? First cast? What is that? Dude, I was just talking, what the heck? <laughs> okay, that is a freaking start to the day. I was just talking about I want to catch a freaking speck. Oh no, there goes a rod in the water. Catch a fish, lose a rod. Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful freaking trout. Dude, that's like a keeper. Right on the point right there. What? Am I recording? Literally, first cast. I don't know if that's a curse. Uh, if that's a good thing, he's got some crazy sharp teeth. Super big tooth. All right. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. The sun in the back art. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. Kicks off strong. All right. Um. Oh, people are duck hunting over there. Oh, someone just jumped right there. I don't want to get in people's like hunting territory. Yikes.
So really with this shrimp, we're just trying to look like a shrimp. Pretty complex, right? <laughs> All right, I think we kind of want to get out here and then go in these little creeks to the right, but there's people firing away. Um, I don't want to get like a ricochet or something. And I also want to respect, I mean, they're here first. So I don't want to mess up their like birds and stuff. Right now I'm just kind of chucking around as we're riding all this, uh, Grass and structure and stuff. I believe that's kind of where these fish chill out, I think. Oh gosh. My kayak was doing this the other day a little bit. It starts squeaking. Also, if you guys have any recommendations on what I should be throwing here, I just had these gulp shrimps already. I know there's a bunch of other types of shrimp. I don't know if they're like better or not. There's a fish. There's a freaking fish, dude. We're on this little island. What is that? Oh, that was another little trout. It's around the same size, actually. <laughs> Freaking sick, dude. You kind of tore me up a little bit. But to be honest, I mean, the, the gulp shrimp's not looking too bad right now. I've always been a big fan of gulp, though, just because, like, the smell and stuff. I'm a believer. All right. Let's go to the left. And I'm not, like, in any way affiliated or sponsored or anything with them. Whew. It just feels so good to get up and out and early and stuff, you know? Dude, they're just hammering it. Oh yeah. Oh, another dude. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's actually the best one of the day, I think. That's why, uh, Loki, I was really surprised. We've been fishing, well, kind of northern-ish of Jacksonville. But I know this area is super uh, popular. Uh, there we go. But these dudes right here. And they are just so freaking pretty, dude. Wow. We got the sharp little teefers. <laughs> All right. Thank you, buddy. Definitely not the biggest of fish. Thank God my gulp is still good. But that's so much fun. I'm pretty sure, I don't know what the keepers had. I gotta look that up. I think these things are keepers, dude. Pretty cool way to start the morning. Got the national anthem blasted in the back. The sun rising, fish biting. Let's find a red now. I think when we hook into one, we're gonna know for sure. I'd also love, I mean, I'm pretty sure those trout get pretty big too. Love to hook into a gator, catch my PB. I caught a pretty big one this past year in uh, the Everglades, but I've seen some big freaking ones caught, so. Let's see. That's a thick freaking boy right there, pelican with this giant gobbler. All right, should we go right or left? We just have to not get lost. That's like one of the main priorities, I think. <laughs> It's literally a maze out here with all these like little creeks and channels and all right so all this looks fishy and i'm sure there's fishing here it's fishable dude i'm getting blinded i'm sure y'all are too but i really want to focus my efforts something like this like little creek channels i see one on google maps up here to the left oh this looks good everywhere it's like how can you not fish everything the only real difference about doing this kind of red fishing or kayak fishing like this so when I was down in Texas, it was super clear. You could like sight fish. That's a little bit different. If I had more faith in it, a thousand percent, I'd be throwing some top water. Really, I just want to catch some fish, dude. Maybe we'll do that in a little bit here. I'll tell you what, though. You think I'm sponsored by Florida because I feel like I talk about it so much. But the more I, I'm down here, especially in the winter, and the more I fish here, dude, it's just like, oh my gosh. 
It's so nice. I'll tell you what though, we've been getting a workout when we've been down here. There's so much, oh, dude, like around the area, there's so much good food. Just Florida in general. You got Publix, which pub subs are freaking amazing. I'm a huge Wawa guy. Uh, they also are getting them down here too now. But um, up in the Northeast, you know, Wawa, good old hoagies. Dude, Publix has a very, very, very good hoagie. The freaking pub sub. My friends and I have been uh, eating good when we've been down here. I think the mission when it's gonna start to be moving here is to find a little choke points, right? A little ambush spots. That's what I like to see. Bait moving. Definitely would have been interesting to see what we could have caught if we came out here with some live shrimp. Oh yeah, that's what I want to see, dude. Mullet jumping. There's something. Yes, sir. What is that? Is that a red? That feels like an... Yes, 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 yes. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, yeah, okay. Whew. Whew. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. I mean, you can kind of tell just from that little fight right there. Definitely not a big one. I'm sure there are some big ones in here. But they fight freaking hard. All right, there we go. Look at that fish. Oh, that is so cool. Look, see, I, I've been saying it on the Florida ship. All reds usually have different little spots. He has one on this side, two on that side. I don't know if you all can even see that. I, I'm not very good at pointing the GoPro at the fish or making videos. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's hard though when it's on your head. All right, first red fish of the day. Now we just gotta see if we can size up a little bit. Thank you, buddy. It's freaking go, cool, dude. But uh, it, it's just so cool, too, for me at least, that like, you know, I come out here and it's just completely unguided. We're, we're doing it, man. Well, it's not just me. Y'all are with me, you know? You and me. We are doing it. That dude smacked it. Oh, that was so much fun. Imagine that dude, too, but like times three or four. I know there's gotta be a giant in here. A couple giants, honestly. Hello? Hello? What is that? Ooh. Dude, I just saw him ran with it. It's a tiny little dude, little squeaky boy. That was so cool. Man, their spots are so freaking pretty. Oh, dude, I yoinked you. I'm sorry about that. I hear him drumming too. Freaking beautiful, man. Let me know too, fishing like this, especially if we're trying to catch like bigger reds and stuff, should I be targeting the middle too? Like just fan casting every now and then? I'm sure they kind of go around everywhere, right? Ooh, that was a mullet. The mullet get me excited, dude. I just like when they're around. I keep you company, man. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Hold on a second. Mm, what is that? It's a little bit better. <sighs> oh, yeah. Whew. Second one of these of the day. Right where you should be, I feel like. Oh, man. So we made it back to the main river. There is, uh, yet again, a little island thing. Oh, beautiful. 
Redfish. One dot, one dot. Super healthy looking. I'll let him back in there. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. Hey, bro, can we just take a second and look at this? This is literally glass. This is crazy. The current's starting to push a little bit, but over here, it's freaking nuts, dude. There's so many planes flying around. All right. So the bite has, let's say, evolved into something that we're not doing. It might just be that it's getting later in the day and the sun's coming out. And I remember, uh, I was down in Louisiana, there was kind of like a morning bite and then it kind of like, you know, chilled out for a second. We're gonna battle. Kayak around a little more, this water is so weird looking. Whew, yes sir. All right, well we rigged the yak back up. I'm getting actually really good at doing that. We like made record time this time. Oh my gosh, let me get out of the boat ramp area real quick. There's a restaurant here and it smells so freaking good. I don't think they're open yet. I'm about to mess around and go and get a freaking pub sub, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. So we fished pretty much all morning and then the bite just kind of completely died, but that is all right because we're actually gonna be doing a different type of fishing right now after I get some food and I need a new SD card and stuff. But uh, yeah, that will be probably in a different video. So again, man, thank you guys so much for supporting this uh, Florida trip and the channel. And I am freaking hungry. That was so sick. We caught redfish, we caught some trout. As always, thank you guys so much for all the support. Let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.